Welcome to a Fashion Doll Shoes tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to make a pattern for a sole and it's really simple so this probably won't be a very long video. I'm going to use these resin castings of Miss Piggy's feet because they are bigger so it's, it should be easier for you to see what I'm doing. And I have been thinking about how to organize these videos and I thought it would be best to have just one thing per video, one process, and so it would be easier for you to find what you're looking for just by opening the playlist and looking at the titles of the videos. Okay, so... What you need for making the pattern is just the foot, either a casting or the entire doll. It will be harder to handle, but you can do it using the entire doll. And you need a piece of paper and pencil. And to start with, just put the foot against the paper, like this and you then draw on the paper along the sides of the foot. You just need to get the shape of the foot on the paper first. Like this. And it it doesn't look very pretty, but the next thing you do is you just clean it up. Like so. And then you need to think about the shape of the toe part. Just put the foot back there. So you can see what you're doing and then you just draw the toe part there and I think these will be slightly pointed, not too much, like that. And then when you have the rough shape here, just cut it out and then you check it against the foot and make any adjustments you may need to make for it. Looks quite nice if if it's too too wide just cuts a little bit away like that one is a bit too wide and if you cut away too much then just trace the pattern on the paper and make the adjustments and then Cut it out again and check and see where you need to fix it and do that as, as many times as it takes because the pattern is really the most important part. Any piece you cut using it will be the exact copy of the pattern so it's best to get it right and it will be easier than fixing the individual parts one by one later. Now I think that's that's okay now and this is for the right foot and then you just flip it over 
and you get the pattern for the left foot. And if you want to make another pattern with different shape of the toe part, just trace this on the paper. And then you can just reshape, like make it rounder, or pointier, or whatever you want. I'll finish this video with a couple of useful tips. The first one is, when you have a pattern, write down the name of the doll. Then you'll know later, when you look at the pattern, you'll know exactly what doll it's made for. And another one, those small pieces are easy to lose. So I use a book, a notebook, where I copy the patterns and any information that I think I may need later about them. And as you can see, there are other things in this book also. I cut out pictures of shoes from magazines and collect them here. So. I can use them as inspiration when I feel like making something new.